Hello, oh let me turn the TV off. Hello, so today is Thursday and we are going to Oxford today um, to spend a few days there and well it's not really Oxford, it's like around Oxford kind of area but yeah I'm really excited we're staying in the cabin in the middle of nowhere, it's going to be really nice just to get away. Andre finishes his exams today, he does exams for his job and he should be finished like any minute now basically so I'm so excited. I've just been running around packing this morning, repainted my nails because Oh my god, I'm out of breath because I painted them on too thick before and they all peeled off. So hopefully these last over the weekend. I mean, they should, they usually do. So yeah, as I said, I've just been packing. This is all my side. Then that's Andre's side. I've just got my dice in there. And then we're bringing a rucksack. Just ignore how messy everything is. Bring in a rucksack and then I need to pop like a hot water bottle and stuff in a different bag. And yeah, then we're pretty much good to go. Boz is not coming with us, sadly. He is staying at my mum's for the weekend, which he'll love. Like he loves um, spending time with my mum's dog, Dora. And yeah, they'll just have the best time so I'm excited for him to have a little getaway as well as us and yeah I'm gonna vlog this whole weekend take you along with us everything we do I think it's gonna be really nice so yeah um, I don't know what the next clip will be we need to get a train home to my mum's to drop Boz off and then we're driving to Oxford so I'll catch you in a bit Jay's finished his exam now so we're all ready well kind of already he's all ready to go and we're just packing up the rest of our stuff and I'm just buzzing certainly have bought so much stuff so we've got that suitcase which is like medium size that's like a normal small travel size one so it's a medium size and we've got a rucksack then I've got my little handbag then we have a massive suitcase as well and we need to somehow navigate that with little Boz as well he's waiting to go he's so done so yeah we have a lot of stuff <laughs> Hello, so we're in the car now about to drive to Oxford and it's just been really stressful to be honest I haven't I haven't been able to vlog like any of the journey to my mum's just because we had two massive suitcases a rucksack and Boz So it was a little bit difficult, but we're on our way if Andre would drive So yeah, we've left Boz now, which is always a bit sad, but he seemed to be um he seemed to be pretty happy with my mum and he's got Dora there for company as well. So yeah, just I guess I'll update you when we get there. Don't say anything? Hello. <laughs> place like literally just pulled up and there's sheep on the ground i'm so buzzing just gonna go find some sheep now i'm literally so happy that there's animals on the place i'm so buzzing yay so we have just arrived in our little shed cabin thing it's so so cute and oh i'm just obsessed with it the sink is so cute the grounds that it's on is just amazing and we are buzzing you happy very you happy. can't speak. Why are you just on mute? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Also, if you are cold, push switch on side of the white control panel outside bathroom. There is another one TV too. Please switch off if you go out for the day. Got ya. Oh. How nice is this? You can move in. We could literally just live in this little shed with bars. Yeah, that's all you need. Can I go sit in the little thing in the garden? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you the bathroom. It's like a huge shower with such a nice little skylight. It looks just incredible. Honestly, so happy here. And they left croissants and eggs and everything to cook there. But I think we're going to go sit with a glass of champagne in the little hut. I literally need to live here. I can't get over it. Um, Andre and I haven't done anything like this for such a long time and it's just so nice to be able to chill out and relax and like in the nicest way like without worrying about Boz because um, he's at my mum's and just being able to like chill that like, already feels so much more zen and relax. Um, I don't know why it looks such a weird colour um, but yeah I'm just buzzing. I feel so calm and chilled. It's so nice to be out of London and somewhere really quiet. And yeah, I just want to live here for the rest of my life. So grateful. Good morning. So it is now the next day um, since I filmed. So last night, the last little clip that I would have shown you would have been 
in that little hut there and you can't really see because it's such a beautiful day the sun's shining but i was sat in that little hut and something a bit crazy happened so i was just sat in there waiting for andre to come out we said we we're gonna have a little glass of champagne just to celebrate our little holiday and him finishing exams so i sat out there waiting for him to bring it out completely unexpecting and he came out with two glasses of champagne and it was nice and he actually tripped over as he came into the little hut and as he tripped a little box fell out of his pocket like a ring box and and he said oh well that kind of ruins a surprise and i was like what and i just honestly it's kind of blanked out from my mind now because it was just so quick and such a blur and it just felt like honestly the biggest shock of my life so if you can hear andre he's brushing his teeth and he just gagged a bit and then he came round the table and he got down on one knee and he asked me to marry him <laughs> it's absolutely mental so i am now mrs clark to be i suppose <laughs> I'll, show you, I'll show you the ring up close the ring is absolutely beautiful you can see just how bright the diamond is like it is honestly stunning like it's a pear shaped um and you can see it glistening honestly it is it's better than i could have ever picked myself like i had no input in the ring whatsoever obviously over the years i've dropped hints of like ones i'd seen on pinterest or whatever but never like anything concrete and yeah he picked this himself it's absolutely perfect so we were just sat in that little hut yeah i suppose that's the first update of today is that I'm engaged and obviously I had to put on this dress today because it's my favourite dress in the whole wide world and it makes me so happy and so does, oh my god it's so dark, let me go somewhere else. I'm just buzzing, I can't believe this is my life, it still doesn't feel real at all. I put it on Instagram about an hour ago and it's already on like 800 likes. It's just mental for my page and me and yeah. <laughs> in terms of today what we're doing, we're going into Oxford. Um, it's about half an hour away. So I said we're staying in Oxford, but it's actually not Oxford at all. It's like a tiny place in the middle of nowhere. So we're going into Oxford today and we're going to have some brunch at a vegan cafe. And then, oh my God, Andre is non-stop blowing his nose. So yeah, we're going to a little vegan cafe. Then we've got a dinner book, so like a burger place. Andre, are you done blowing your nose? Never really vlog. <laughs> there was quite a lot of it. Um, yeah, we're going to like a um, burger place tonight. They've got like a really good vegan burger. And then we're going to play junkyard, junkyard Golf in Oxford as well. So hopefully we'll do some shopping today. Andre said I can have a whole £10 to spend in Primark. £7. Seven pounds to spend in Primark. Which, you know, I'm a lucky girl. Yeah, I guess we're off for the day. Um, I would show you my dress, but you've seen it a million times. Because I wear this all the time because it's my favourite dress ever. Waiting for Andre as per usual. People always think I'm the late one, um, but it's it's always Andre. Oh my god, there's sheep up there. I hope there's sheep when we go to the car as well. Um, there he is. His outfit's sick today. I'll get him to do a little outfit of the day. I can see the sheep. Oh my god, they're literally so fun. Do you want to do an outfit of the day? Yeah, we've got the um, Santa Cruz jacket. Nice. Where from? From Santa Cruz. No, from Urban. Uh, top man top. ASOS jeans, probably. I think they're ASOS, but I think they're, no, I think they're new look, but you oh, got an ASOS. The re oh, Umbro socks. Retro. And the Air Force. Love it. Dad vibes. Dad vibes? <laughs> you told me they're dad shoes. <laughs> oh, it's so hot today. So glad I wore a dress. I don't think that's going to stay. I'm not going to be able to vlog the journey, but um, I'll see you when we get to the cafe. So we have just got to this cute little cafe. It's called Green Root. It's just like an all vegan cafe. And what did you get? I got a oat iced latte. Nice. And a breakfast muffin. Stunning. I went for a full monthly breakfast, which is double the price of Andre's, and I think it's going to be huge. And I'm so excited. I think it's going to be banging. It's not on you. I can't see your arms. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cute. Well, I'm definitely not going to be hungry today. Look at the size of mine compared to Andre's. I'm definitely <laughs> Oh my god, I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm going to devour this. So Andre's just gone to can afford to park here because so i think it's going to be like it might be like 40 pounds for the day we're not sure but yeah oxford is so pretty i didn't realize how lovely it was like so many old buildings which are just nice to look at like when you're in london like you don't really all you have is like skyscrapers and you don't really appreciate 
like the buildings and stuff but here it's just so pretty oh he's coming back already let's see what the verdict is max stay two hours oh we can't stay here so we're just walking through oxford now is this a high street or is it the high street further back it's really cute like it's really beautiful place oh, what a loser ruining the video so pretty obsessed we couldn't really hear me earlier but this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna go on a little boat around the river hopefully anyway hopefully it's not too busy i don't think i'm gonna go to this one i think there's more further along so we've just sat down and we haven't gone planting or anything yet we're just having a little sit down before we find something and my feet are starting to hurt I'm, i've worn docks which is just stupid because i always hurt my feet but yeah it's really pretty here and i'm so glad the weather's so good and we're off Andre just had the quickest lesson of his life. The guy was like explaining, he was like, yep, 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 fine. And then we were like queuing and Andre was like, um, how many people actually fall in? She was like, oh, well, like a few people do. So yeah, off we go. since we were on the little boat i don't think because we just went shopping after that and it was really hot and like vlogging in shops is just a bit like difficult when you try to shop um i've just we've just come back to the car now before we go to dinner i've had to change into my um air force because my feet were hurting so so much in my docks like it was so painful but i thought i'd just show you what we got from primark quickly just got some socks so i could put my trainers on then I got this vase vase, which I thought was so cute because it like looked like a little white tree trunk. How cute is that? Cute, huh? Yeah, did you say vase? Vase, vase. 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 Then I got this bodysuit, which is a bit different for me, can't lie. Who picked it out? Not so actually Andre picked it out, didn't you? I did. Knows me so well, clearly. Um so it's like a high neck bodysuit. It feels like a really nice material, it's like ribbed. I don't know if you can see it's like a really fine rib material and yeah that was only six pounds so i thought that's nice stuff like that is just timeless like you can wear that over and over again and then the best thing ever i've got this blazer which john jay thinks i already have but i don't and my other one isn't oversized either you have a very similar blazer that one's just a bit darker yeah and like smaller print but i got this blazer oh, this wow. is now super jug so I got two of these. These are my favourite things to remove my makeup with. So I just use those reusable pads I've shown you a hundred times. So this is the vitamin E one. I just got two of these because I'll buy one get one free or half price. And then I don't think anything else was exciting. We got water and then paracetamol. Yeah, so that was our little haul. We've got dinner booked at half six and it's five past six now. So it's only like a one minute walk away, which is kind of annoying. We might head there early and then we're playing mini golf, crazy golf, junkyard golf. Later, which we've done once before we did that in manchester um a few years ago when was that i swear that was when it like first opened Don't i always beat always i always beat on jay no. at crazy girl i have lost it recently i used to yeah. be like the when we last went up. it was actually so funny so we went with there was quite a lot of us andre was actually the shittest thing i've ever no, ever no, seen no no that was unlucky because i went first on a hole and showed everyone how not to do it and i think my thing was broken I actually had a broken thumb at the time, which Did was just... it, Wasn't that on that hole when I got about 30 on one hole? Yeah. Was it just stupid? No, well, yeah, you were just shit. You should be swearing. Sorry. But yeah, so it's going to be an interesting one because me and Andre are usually pretty similar. It's usually pretty if close. If you win, that ring's coming straight off. <laughs> Stop saying that. Everything I do, it pisses him off. He's like, I'll have that ring back. Yeah, but... Have you done the reveal yet? Did yeah, I did the reveal this morning. Nice. Didn't thought I might have spoiled it. Well, the whole way through in the background, you were like, <coughs> and like brushing your teeth and stuff. Yeah, and you were like I'm gagging. I was trying, I was walking around trying to get the best lighting and all I could hear is you in the background, like dying. <laughs> and then you just started sniffing loads when I sat down. I was, I was like, sniffing, I was blowing my nose. Yeah, that's what I mean. I just couldn't win. So we have arrived at Glut Burger in Oxford and it looks absolutely unreal. It actually came really quick to be fair. I'm a bit disappointed with my drink because it's supposed to be a cute little elderflower cocktail, but you know. But yeah, gonna tuck in. It's like a 
plant-based burger, some cauliflower. What are they? Cauliflower wings? Yeah, like cauliflower bites. Oh. We have just finished dinner. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because it's quite loud in here now. But it was actually really good. We've now got over an hour until... We've got an hour and a half until we're supposed to play crazy goal. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do for an hour and a half because the golf is literally like a five minute walk away. So we're going to have to find something to do for that time. But yeah, dinner was a success. Um, I can't stop looking at my ring. Does it feel real? Ah. Oh my god. Why does that look so good? Really, really hot. <laughs> second full day of like our third day here and we're going for a walk and to explore some other like small villagey is it a village no it's a town oh it's like smallish big town i don't know what i'm saying we're going out now i don't think today will be as exciting in the vlog as yesterday because i think it's just gonna have it more chilled but oh my god last night when we were coming back i have a phobia of frogs like a really really i don't want to say really 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 bad but it is quite bad of uh, frog and last night when we came in um it was really dark and we we're walking along this little path we went along this path to get to our little um house thing and there was just a little frog and andre saw it and like turned around and was like and i'd already seen it and i was obviously freaking out and it was not very fun um i didn't have a panic attack though so that's good um i'd say i was relatively close oh but now I'm just scared of frogs everywhere. So we've had the door open, but we've had like the bottom bit shut because I don't want any frogs in here. My outfit is very exciting, but on some leggings, a top, Converse as always, a big shirt and a gilet. I've got a three quarter zip. Where's it Jean. from? You have to tell us where Old it's face. from. Nice. Jeans from probably ASOS. Oh uh, yeah, they are. Know. Same shoes as always. Should I change my shoes? No, they look good. No, okay. Have you seen the TikTok where he's like, you look good, don't change. No. Oh, well, that's what I would say to you. But yeah, off out now. Bye. Oh, yeah, that she got the one on. <laughs> that was the one that was just given out over there. So, look how beautiful this is. Honestly, so nice. It's me with a view. We actually are driving um, through. But it looked really nice, so I wanted to get a little a snap of it. I didn't actually vlog when we were out and about just now because it wasn't that exciting, was it? There wasn't really much. Oh, it was a nice town, but it, yeah, it was nice. But there, and we were in tiny little charity shops, so it was like a bit walks. And so yeah, we got some snacks from Waitrose, and we're going back to the little place now, and we're just gonna chill for a bit. I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. It's like 3 p.m. now. But yeah, I've got some drinks and stuff to have tonight. I think we're going to have ourselves a little party. Just us two tonight. I'm going to show you quickly what we got from the charity shops. Firstly, I got this vase, which I thought is so pretty. It's like cream and it's got like little speckles in it. And yeah, I just thought it was really nice. And we don't have any vases at the house. And I thought this can come with us when we move house as well. Because it's really neutral and I love it. That was only £1.50. Then we got some Mr. Men books for our nephew river who lives in australia we haven't actually met him yet he's um andre's sister lauren her little boy and he just looks adorable and we thought we could send over some little books as well as some other bits but they were only 50p per book so we got how many did you get eight ten, ten books <laughs> then we got um boz a little toy because i thought that was really cute that was a pound and we've got Dora a little toy as well. They're children's toys, but they'll be fine for them. They don't really destroy toys, so that's for them. Then this was the Ralph Lauren shirt that I was on about. I'll try it on now, actually. 
So it's like perfect condition and everything. Um, it's like green, checkered. Ralphie, it's a bit smaller than I thought. It's nice and long there. I actually quite like it. It's not as big as I thought, like um, bagginess wise, but it's really long, which is nice. We haven't really got loads to do now. So I think we're just gonna chill, have some snacks and yeah, just relax really. Andre's already taken his place on the sofa and we haven't got anything to do. So just gonna chat. Hello and good evening. It's still Saturday. I'm just having a white claw with and I put some fruit in it and put it in a wine glass to make it look a bit more fancy. Andre's just driven to Bista to pick up some food. I actually can't wait to put all of this like footage together from these few days because I think it's going to be so special and it, what's so weird is um on from the first day I was just recording like where we were sat in that little hut and I just wish I'd carried on recording like not even showing us but just so I could remember like what Andre said and what I said when he proposed because it honestly just feels like the biggest blur and like, I just can't picture I just I feel like my face like was this the whole time like like I, d I don't feel like I had any other response and I just wish I could remember what he said and what I said because it's such a blur yeah I just really can't wait to put all of this together and just have this as a memory forever because it's such a special weekend and I'd love to come back to this place every few years or something but I just wanted to kind of update you I am the happiest I have been in such a long time honestly like I just feel like I'm in a little bubble and every time I look down my hand and there's a, a ring on my finger I'm like what like the fact that andre actually said that he wants to marry me is just absolutely insane i just really never ever thought that andre would like want to this soon and it just fills my heart with so much love but knowing that he does want to do that and i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i just i really never ever thought that this day would happen so soon one last thing before i go for tonight though i just want to say thank you if you have taken the time to comment or like or message me privately to say congratulations honestly i've been so overwhelmed with love it has just been the nicest nicest feeling i can't even explain how lovely it is and i'm so happy that i started documenting my life and putting things online because although it does have its downsides it has also brought me so much happiness and to share that happiness with more and more people is just beautiful and i love it we played go fish a minute guys do you want to tell them how it went we had a warm up game of Go Fish to teach Amy the rules. I, I know the rules, we've played it hundreds of times. So now we're going to play properly, competitively. I won Go Fish, and Andre is the most competitive person in the world and got annoyed when you I can't put. I win Go Fish. What do you. Right, so the next time we... it went, when you win. I won't win, it's just Go Fish. Anyway, I won, and Andre's fuming because he can't handle losing. When I put my first set of cards down, he was like, I'm not playing anymore. You did steal my cards though, to be fair. That's how go fish works. No, but you knew I was going for that set. <laughs> So very quickly, we just drove back from our little holiday place and we're about to go into the house. And Boz is gonna go absolutely nuts, so I wanted to record it. So yeah, here we go. Hello. Hello. Hey. Bozzy. Hello. Oh, 